welcome, welcome guys, this is, um, this is like a manual patch up of a vulnerability in all Windows operating systems that Windows Update does not patch. Well, it is possible for an intruder to try passwords and enter into your system illegally due to the fact that the operation operational system always displays the name of the previous user when a user logs in. Well manual repair for this vulnerability manual repair for this vulnerability is very simple. Just follow my steps and I'll I'll show you how to patch it up. So first you go to the start menu. Click start obviously click run or you can just type R E G E I T if you haven't modified your taskbar so just click run then you just type in I G D I T it's for all operational systems even if you use XP I think it's the vulnerability is still there click OK then it'll probably you ask you to ask you to wait. It'll probably ask you to yeah use uh, like permissions and stuff. I've already I turned mine on again because I just been attacked by malware like two days ago, which I accidentally clicked on a site which directed me to that. Yeah, gosh, sure. so let's just turn it on just in case. So what you like to do is to click local machine, then go to software, go, keep on going down until you see Microsoft, look down until you find, after that you just look for Windows, it's in the W so you just click Windows, then there should be options like current version help, HTML help, IT storage, tablet, tablet PC Windows error reporting Windows search basically all that stuff go down click um, current version double click that and another list drop list will come down after that you'll just look for um, policies if you can find it so it's in the P so this is just just click a double click on policies and this will pop up just go to system just click system now and yet the like the destination we're supposed to be at so um then you look for don't display last username because they can attempt to hack your computer by seeing what your last username was when you last logged in and they could attempt to crack it with some sort of brute force password cracker or something and so you just all you do is double click it uh, the original value is zero. You can modify that. To, you can turn this on by modifying to one, so then they won't. So then they won't be able to access some parts of it. So just click OK, then close, and congratulations, you've just modified uh, a um, a vulnerability for Windows.